Let me answer this guy. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Who is talking to me? Please mute your uh, YouTube. Wait. All right. Who is talking to me, please? My name is uh, My name is Ali, and I want to challenge you if you could read the verse from the Bible. Why you want to challenge me to read the verse from the Bible? What about read the verse from the Quran? No. What about reading the verse from the Bible if you have balls? Uh, what if I don't have balls? Is that will make a difference for you? Do you have balls no, yourself? Do you have balls yourself? I am just asking you to read. I'm asking you. Do you have Kings. Do you have balls yourself? Kings, do you have a Do you have balls yourself? Second Kings. Do you have balls two, yourself? Blah, blah, blah. Do you have a balls yourself? Like, we are talking. We will read wherever you want. I'm asking you. Do you have balls no. yourself? I'm asking you to. Please, I am asking please, you. Please. You asked me a question. I answered you. I want an answer. Do you have balls yourself? Okay, I don't have. Why you don't have? What happened? Are you the same as your prophet? Okay, as long as you don't have, that's mean you are the same as the prophet because there is a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of the Kothar. Your prophet was accused that he don't have balls and he don't have a penis. Do you agree with that? Can you please read Second Kings? You can read it. Read for me, no problem. But you need to answer me. Is no, it true please, that the Quran please, says that the prophet had no balls? Is it true? I will answer you. Is it true that your prophet was accused that he have no balls? Yes or no? I will answer your question. Well, I, here we go. You are the one who mentioned balls. Obviously, you are trying to change the topic. I, I first asked about Second Kings. You, but you can you, okay read for me you Second King. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. But you need to answer me. Go ahead. What Second King says? Second Kings chapter two verse twenty three. So read it for us. If you have the yeah yeah. Read it for open us. In, open open in front of the screen. Well, you know you know first yeah, dude. When I so, when I say to somebody. Uh, when I say how, when I when I, how, when I say when I say listen listen Abdul <laughs> when I when I change the Muslim I read for you what I am saying read it for us and let us laugh. No, re, re, open open on the screen. We Why will open in the stream. Second King, what? Second Kings chapter two verse twenty three. Open it. Mm -hmm. Why are you afraid? All right. And you will read it for us. <clears throat> Let it's us see. Let us see who is afraid. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Read. Open second, second Kings. Kings two. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind. But Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Verse what? And Elijah said unto Elisha, No worry, we read it all. For the Lord hath oh, sent sorry. me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Terry, I pray thee here, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went, and stood to view afar off. And they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle, and wrapped it together, and smote the waters. And they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. 
And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes, and rent them in two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and smote the waters, and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And we also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither, and Elisha went over. And when the sons of the prophets, which were to view at Jericho, saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the yes. ground before him. Listen, Abdul, listen. And they listen, said they him, laugh at you. Behold now, yeah, there yeah, be with thy it. servants fifty strong men. Let them go, we pray thee, and seek thy master, lest peradventure the Spirit of the Lord well, hath taken him up, up shut up, and cast him upon some mountain or into some valley. And he said, Ye shall not send. And when they urged him till he was ashamed, he said, Send. They sent therefore fifty men, and they sought three days, but found him not. And when they came again to him, for he tarried at Jericho, he said unto them, Did I not say unto you, Go not? And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord seeth, but the water is not, and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast the salt in there, and said, Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. For the waters were healed unto this day, according to the saying of Elisha, which he spake. And he went up from thence unto Bethel, as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city, and mocked him, and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head, go up, thou bald head. And he turned back, and looked on them, and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she-bears out of the wood, and tear forty and two children of them. And he went from thence to Mount Carmel. Uh, while you are laughing, Abdul, you see, the verse you gave me is a proof that Elijah is a prophet of God. Your God, he cursed the Christian, the Jews, and they never die. He okay. cursed us. Listen, so listen, let, called, me, let, me show, let me show everybody. Let me show everybody. You see, I just showed you, I made you listen to the whole chapter, and you were doomed for listening because, because the devil inside you was hurting you. You could not cut, shut, up, shut up your mouth. Look what happened, guys. <laughs> he is making fun of Elijah. Elijah did not kill anyone. He cursed them for insulting. And the Bible is speaking clearly in the Old Testament that those who so insult the, oh, shut up, God. shut up, shut up. Those who insult loving their God. parents should be put to death. This is the punishment. Jesus loves you. Shut up, shut Jesus up, shut 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 up. <laughs> While your God, Allah, in the Quran, He threatened the Christians. If they don't believe in Islam, Allah is going to make their faces without nose and without eyes. And we don't believe in Islam, and nothing happened like this until now. For your God is a false God. Is that true? Okay, so who killed the babies? Who killed the babies? God. Who killed the babies? God. In Bible. In God. Bible. God. And God killed the baby in your Quran too. Isn't it he who killed in the in the time of Noah, you idiot? You are an idiot. Isn't who is isn't you who believe in the flood the of Noah? Do you believe in the flood of Noah or not? You believe. Do you believe you in the believe flood of Noah or not? Yes, yes or no? Yes or no? Guys, look with me. This guy. Let us talk about the curse. This is a prophet of God. He cursed, and what happened? That his curse always been answered by God. This is the God of Islam, chapter four, verse number forty-seven. The stupid God of Islam is cursing the Christian, saying, "If you don't believe in me, 
I will make your faces without noses, without mouth, without eyes. And we never saw any Christians that happened to him. So what kind of God? Your God is the one who cursed will, the Christians. It will happen. It will happen. No, 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 no. It's not going to happen. He said, now, now. You have to believe now. Read it. Read Abdul. Read it, Abdul. It says now, now. If you don't believe now, now. Do you see it now? You have to believe. Otherwise, aren't you aren't you aware that if you don't believe now, now we are going we are going to make your faces without without a mouth? What is in the bracket? What can, is not in the Quran. Listen, answer. And let me ask what you a question, Abdul. Let me get you busted. What about we read the interpretation for the verse? What is in the bracket? Do you like? In the Quran. Do you like? Do you like to answer? Do you like to read the interpretation for the verse? Interpretation is a human interpretation. Okay. Ah, so so your prophet is not a human. He is God. So what do you mean it's a human? Aren't you a human too? Yeah, I'm a human. So how you explain yes. the Quran? If a human are yes. not allowed yes. to explain the Quran, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Did you hear this? Did you hear this idiot? Did you hear this idiot? A Muslim, if he is a human, is not allowed to inter to give interpretation for the Quran. So what is the interpretation is made for? If only only the one who is not a human can give interpretation. So what do you mean it's a human interpretation? It Those is, are your opinion. Abdul, listen, opinion. what opinion? Give me, give me your opinion. Based on interpretation is opinion. Give me an opinion is a trustworthy, not an opinion of a kid from Pakistan who do not know how to read Arabic. Do you know Arabic? No, I don't know. So just, then then how you know that this is wrong? Do you know that how you know that the opinion of the scholars are wrong right away? You're a scholar, your you, your majesty, right are, away you decide that this fallible. is wrong. They are fallible. They, they all could be wrong. Okay, then give me one you trust him. Give me one they you trust. Give me give me a scholar you trust. Which one you want? A Jalalain, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari. Oh, they all, all they of them they all are a scumbag like you. All could go yeah, wrong. shut up, get lost. This is how we get you busted, Muslims. The curse of Elijah happened immediately. The curse of Allah never happened, for he is a liar. When your God, he threatened the Christians if they don't believe in Muhammad. In Muhammad, in his time, not later, he's speaking to the Christian at that time. What, he will make their faces after they die? He called to make fun of a curse. You make fun of your parents in the Old Testament, your punishment is death. And this is a prophet for those people. So they will be put by the law to death. He did not kill them. He did not touch any of them. While well, you Muslims burning people alive. God he sent, God he take. The flood of Noah is in the Quran. Did Allah kill all the babies at that time? Yes. So why the Muslims don't complain? <laughs> Your God, is, who is the one who killed the babes? <laughs> Stupid idiot. Don't you Muslims believe that two cities in Lut, in the story of Lut and his wife, they are burned? Did Allah burn them all? Yes. <laughs> you know, stupid. They don't even know what is in their books. But here, actually, very clear example. As long as the Muslims believe that this is what happened in that verse, that the curse happened and those children, they've been killed. Here we go in the front of you. And about killing children. If we go in the Quran, we will find the very verse in the Quran speaking about the prophet, his name is Al-Khudr. In the story of Al Khadr, he was walking with Moses, and they saw a child. Chapter 18, you can read it from verse number 60, 60 uh, 76 to verse number 80. Let us go and see the interpretation. He is calling me to speak about killing children. This is the point, right? Let me show you how we stupid those Muslims who have no idea what is in their Quran. I never saw what any Muslim he knows what is in the Quran. And then he will say to me, ah, this is an opinion of a scholar, opinion of a scholar. So who will take your opinion, you idiot? For sure, we will take the scholars, not you. So if we go in the Quran, we will find this. In chapter 18, verse number 76, we go 76 and 80.
let us go from before from the beginning of the story read me carefully guys this is a prophet Moses and the prophet al khadr al khadr is the master of Moses which means he is the teacher of Moses and Allah sent Moses to learn from al khadr al khadr is a person who was called al khadr because he drank from the fountain of youth which mean because of that he never die he is a person who met Adam, he met Noah, he met Moses, and he was in the funeral of Muhammad. This is one of the fiction stories of the stupid Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. Here, when Al Khadr with Moses were walking, hey Ali, how are you? Let hello? Me, hello, hello. Can you read with me, please, Ali? What? Can you read with me what is uh, in the screen? Do you know that in your Bible? Blah, 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 blah. Can you read with me in the uh, screen or not? Can you read with me what Wait. is in the screen? Yes or no? Wait. Hmm. What happened? So they set off after leaving the ship. They find a boy. Read, read. I want to hear it. 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 Read. I told you. I told you. Why are you showing the tafsir? So what I will show what? I will show you what? What I will show you? The verse in front of you. Show verse. It says then the verse in front of you. They they killed a boy. Here we go. This is the verse. I'm showing the verse. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid or what? I'm showing the verse in the screen. It's in the screen. If you are a donkey, you do not know how to read this. Your problem. Chapter, listen, Abdul, chapter 18, verse number 74. Read it for us and show and read the interpretation. Why? Well, I, I will read the words. I will not read the interpretation. Uh, then then the get interpretation lost. Don't call me. I have no time for kids. Who are you to, to not to read the interpretation? If you don't want the interpretation, why you have interpretation? Suddenly, the interpretation of the scars. You see, if you debate Muslims, you say, oh, you have to read the interpretation. You can't give interpretation of your own. Okay, we are showing them their own interpretation. They're scholars. Suddenly, their scholars are a bunch of idiots. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to read the reason. Don't read the interpretation. I read it. <laughs>